Hello Retro Gamers! Happy Bank Holiday or Happy National Holiday to you all depending on where you are in the world. So, I have been using uh, this guy um, to convert composite into HDMI. It's probably about somewhere, I don't know, five, seven quid from, from Amazon. Um, so it is pumping out some a composite signal and I've been using that for a couple of years, um, you know, on, 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 the, on an LCD television. However, um, I was feeling a, a, a little bit adventurous and a little bit flush for cash, and I really did want a proper, uh, you know, a scan converter upscaler. And uh, OSSC uh, is something that I've been aware of for a number of years. So um, I went direct to them. It's, it's cheaper than Amazon. On Amazon, it's listed for about 150 quid. But if you go direct to Keiko, Keiko, uh, which uh, I believe are based in the UK, but I think these units are made in China, um, if you go direct, I got it for £120. So, yes, I mean, you know, it's a fraction of the price of this. However, I have to say, um, it's uh, leaps and bounds ahead of, of that composite uh, uh, upscaler. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll have a quick look at it um, fired up in a moment. But you get a nice, uh, you know, you get a nice uh, presentation box with uh, various power supplies to use, depending on what part of the world you're in. Um, and I, yeah, here we go. So it's, it's very nicely, it, it is nicely presented. It, it does feel quite, quite decent. Uh, there's also a remote control as well, which is pretty much essential for navigating some of, some of the options and fine tuning, but, uh, you know, very well presented uh, item. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you uh, just how much of a difference it, it, it's made and uh, would, would commend if you're, if you can spare the cash, I would commend something of this nature, maybe not this one. Okay, so just before I initially get set up, I'll just do a, do a close up. The uh, kind of chassis feels feels quality. I think that's kind of you know it's not is it three D printed? I don't know, but it but it feels half decent. Uh, obviously, it has a power supply. Um, you know, you've got VGA in, um, component uh, in, SCART in, and then there's the HDMI out. Uh, this one will pump out the audio as well. Older. OSCCs, uh, you know, uh, there's something to do with mixing, uh, but this one does it better. Um, the only thing that I would say is that the SCAR socket here, you can see there's a little bit of play there, is that you don't want to be constantly changing, um, you know, the output, uh, the, the SCAR cables, you know, if you've got a Mega Drive, Mass System, Mega, whatever, you don't want to constantly be, uh, uh, you know, pulling on that. So I would recommend, I found this worked for me. I've just got this really, really cheap and nasty, uh, you know, multi-connector. However, um, where when I use this, I only need to, I can damage this. I can afford to damage this because this is only, what, a quid or two. You can probably get much, much better ones with these or maybe just an extension cable. But I would strongly recommend don't go pulling in and out of that. You can see it's just, yeah, I'm not happy with the play there. You don't want it to become decoupled from the uh, from the board. So that's my, my only tip, really. Um, but uh, I'll just show you it briefly in action. Okay, here's a master system with, with the EverDrive, uh, connected up via composite and via that composite upscaler. Now, uh, this is the first time I've used the composite uh, upscaler, um, and there's an inherent, it, it, it's sort of blurry, smoky, like, like you're stuck Vaseline over the screen. You can, you know, it's, it's workable. Uh, I'm just going to fire up Lemmings, which is one of my uh, uh, favourite titles. I'll do. You can see the reflection of the utter anarchy and chaos and mess behind me. Uh, you can see the <laughs> all sorts of uh, gub gubbins going on there. But um, yeah, it's just smudged. Smudged is probably the word. But you know, it's it's there. So if we go in to the lemming you know there's sort of a smear sort of uh, uh you know but there you are the title screen is probably good so if i go into some of the background okay and then the text but you know it gets you out of trouble right for about five seven quid so it gets you out of trouble um and that's what i've been using uh where i wasn't using say this smaller screen here so i've got a smaller screen here but you know sometimes it's nice to just pump it up on the big telly so let's uh, compare this to the oscc okay so there's that SCART block, so I'm not going to be constantly changing the sources and strategically I've put it here, which is closest to the cable, just in case of signal signal degradation. You need an RGB SCART lead. It's connected up to the mass system here. Um, I'm actually running, uh, I'm splitting the output here to uh, one to a video capture card and one to the television. Um, so that's just what's going on there with the HDMI. Anyway, um, you know, here's the unit. You, you flicker the power switch on and then 
this is coming up the test screen, right? And this is the first thing, just just uh, so you're aware, that you actually, you can set auto detect input, that it can pick up that there's a signal. You can see the mass system's on here. However, I thought, oh no, this is broken, this is broken, this is broken. I don't know whether, you know, there's, I, I've still got a lot to learn, right? But, um, you know, if you specify the input, so one for AV1, which is the SCART at the back, because it, it does, it is keyed, um, uh, it is labeled, push one. And then I haven't even mucked around with settings, right? I, I'm sure there are optimal settings, but can you see already the crispness of the text, right? This is just out of the box settings uh, and the text is very crisp. Values, you can set profiles and settings for, you know, um, scan lines and all kinds of things. So uh, let's fire up Lemmings. But immediately out of the box, I could just tell straight away. And it's very interesting going back to look at the, uh, you know, the five pound scaler that I was using. So uh, this is gonna, Obviously, uh, I, I strongly recommend, um, you know, this £20 AliExpress uh, EverDrive. But anyway, can you see already that you can see the pixels? So you can introduce scan lines, you can introduce all kind of filtering effects. But you can see the hair there. And, and I tell you what, the responsiveness as well, I hadn't really appreciated this, but I've heard of input lag before, but it's sharp. When you play, it feels sharp. And you can see the detail here. Um, and yeah, I, I, I love it. I love it. I, I, I haven't even played around with the multitude of settings. So, you know, if I uh, fire up the uh, the menu button um, here, where's the menu button? Yeah. Uh, if you update the firmware, you get it on the screen here as well as on the LCD screen here. There's all kinds of configurations that you can, uh, you know, the output here. So, uh, how, you know, um, there's a multitude of things. Uh, read up online, play around with it. I'm just learning it. But out of the box, it's, I have to say, it is phenomenal. I am glad. Um, I know there's a retro Meister as well, which I think several, uh, three, three, four hundred pounds. But I tell you what, for 120 quid, yeah, I wish I'd done something earlier. Put it that way. So um, yeah, big, big thumbs up from me. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope that's a, an interesting little insight into something a bit different. And I'll let you know how I get on with it. Uh, and whether, as I learn more. But anyway, you know, major learning. Don't keep changing the the, the inputs. Um, you know, the SCART lead at the back, and uh, make sure you select an input uh, to the to the source, and then you're you're good to go. Uh, thanks for watching.